when you look at experts, there is a consensus that for older people, first-line drugs should be SSRI, even in the most severe form of depression, and SNRI being kind of second-line drug and tricyclic now being fourth-line drug. Mirtazapine, Remerand, which was popular in long-term care a few years ago, is actually most of geriatric psychiatrists don't like that drug, experts don't like that drug and would not recommend its use. It's sedating, and, and, and so it, people appear improved, but it's, you, you're, you're masking symptoms, you're not necessarily treating the depression. Among the SSRI, the, 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 that consensus conference was a few, is uh, from a few years ago, the expert prefer what I would call the clean SSRI, citalopram, sertraline, as citalopram would be in this one. They tend not to favor a drug like paroxetine or fluoxetine. They are more likely to be involved in drug-drug interaction, which are going to be the topic of the next lecture. Now, those, uh, those drugs still are associated in old people with significant side effects, which are not just nuisance side effects like diarrhea or nausea or headache, but can be actually significant lethal side effect, drug-drug interaction, specific uh, syndrome of hyponatremia in older people, particularly those who are taking a diuretic. So uh, in those patients, it may be a, a good idea to obtain at least a baseline sodium before initiating the antidepressant. Like depression, they are associated with fall, and then when you fall, you're fractured. GI bleed, some Toronto, Ontario data showing that older people on SSRI who take an NSAID have an increased risk for GI bleed, cardiovascular effect, cognitive impairment, and controversial issue on suicide. If you want, don't want to use medication, psychotherapy offers actually an alternative and then meta-analysis of 30 control studies in older people showing that it works. If you really dig in the literature, the psychotherapy study tend to be conducted more in people in their 60s and the antidepressant in the 70s, but there are some a few studies looking specifically at nursing home residents and showing effect of psychotherapy. That's a recent study published in uh, the American Journal of Psychiatry showing a comparison of problem-solving therapy to supportive therapy, and you can see a smooth decrease over the 12-week study of depressive symptoms with a remission rate in the 30 to 40 percent rate and response rate uh, 50 to 60, similar to what you would expect with medication. So in conclusion, late life depression is widespread in the long-term care setting. It has serious consequences. It can be accurately diagnosed. It can be effectively treated. And uh, the, the advice is do not give up when you see those patients. Try to treat them. And maybe during the question we can discuss. But remember, you know, medication has some risk. And that's a segue to the next talk. Thank you very much.